greetings in the light and love of our infinite creator. As the third degree consciousness begins to dissolve, the veil over your eyes becomes transparent. Moving into the higher spectrums of existence, you are able to witness other realms and dimensions. The astral plane has always been used as a gateway to the other realms. This was the main space that the Dark Ones used to interfere with humans. As you raise in the light, your vision through these realms will now be much more clear to where you will be in total control within your astral travels. So, the astral plane has become much more safe for you to traverse, due to the recent DNA upgrades you have received. You are no longer bound by the dark forces, you are free to explore your multidimensional existence with much greater ease. The dangers that once lurked in the darkness, can no longer harm you. As you grow in the light spectrum, the darker entities will no longer be able to stay within your presence and this includes within the astral plane. In most cases, they will try and run away, but if they can't will try to attack, only to have it reflected instantly back to them. You will witness those of the dark literally separating or splitting away from you. You are now able to see this separation of energies throughout your world. Those who are raising in the light are no longer giving energies to the dark's game. The only energy they are receiving is from their own. This is starving them, and making them even more aggressive. They are pulling at their last straws. No one of higher light is believing anything that the dark agenda is pushing. Many if not most of you have already stopped playing into the political, religious and social traps that the dark ones have set within their matrix. The more you can turn away from the 3D matrix, the more powerful you become, and the weaker the dark force becomes. The separation you are experiencing in your world has become a natural occurrence, that happens when a world is liberated from the dark's grasp. As stated before, this is the last planet in this galaxy to be liberated. This is why the dark is fighting so hard to keep Earth. Throughout the centuries within your time space, the dark has made Earth their stronghold. Many of the lower reptilian species originated there on Earth, seeded by the Dark Ones of the lower fourth degree. This is why they feel the right to own Gaia Earth. However, all of the lower vibratory species were created by using bio-AI technology that the Dark Forces can control. So all of these lower vibrational beings are being removed from your planet. They have had many nests, if you will, in caves and caverns throughout the inner earth. They are not considered extraterrestrial to you because they are not from a different planet. However, they will be moved to a different 3D planet that they can inhabit. This is for their own safety, as the earth transforms to her fifth degree body. The Andromeda Intergalactic Council view all life as sacred. However, with the bio-AI entities, they are not a natural creation and so they cannot evolve with the rest of the species on your planet. This is the reason for their removal. They cannot evolve spiritually. The Dark Ones did not create them by instilling the Creator Consciousness. They created an artificial bio-brain that they can control through using AI technology, allowing for total control of all of their created species. You would understand this as a hive mind. All natural species have a collective consciousness that can evolve naturally. This is the universal infinite creator consciousness. The dark forces do not have this same consciousness. They are all controlled by artificial intelligence that is as ancient as this universe and beyond. It joined the dark force billions of years ago in your time space. Joining with the original lesser god and his minions, who were placed in the void or lower fourth degree by the angelics. However, in your current time space, the Dark Ones had made an attempt at using their AI technology to take over humanity. They do this through nanotechnology through medical and food administration. However, the higher light frequency penetrates into your bodies if you allow the flow, which dissolves or breaks down the technology. 
so as you raise in the light, you are also healed of this attack. The split that your society is experiencing will become much more obvious in the weeks and months to come of your time space. This collapse of the 3D matrix control system will affect all on your planet. Some will be in great fear because they are losing their control of what is happening around them. The ones not going with the flow of the light energies will find it hard to cope with the new vibrations they are receiving. All of us, your star families, have been directing the infinite's cosmic light evenly throughout your planet. Our wanderers are as beacons or lighthouses, shining that light to where it is needed the most. They are masters in remembrance of their divinity. Humanity and the Earth is being protected by the Divine's Order of the Infinite Pair, the Infinite Creator. You are so greatly loved. You are the children of the Infinite. We join you on your journey back to the arms of the Divine's light and pure love. We await all of you in joyous reunion. You are the Masters returning home. We love you and honor you. In the love and light of the Infinite Creator, we are the Andromeda Intergalactic Council, here to serve the Divine. Channeled by Chelia at UniversalLighthouse.com Thank you for watching Universal Lighthouse Galactic Messages and Spiritual Teachings. Please use your own personal discernment on all content posted. If you enjoyed the different authors that are shared, please subscribe to their content as well. You can visit our blog page at UniversalLighthouse.com and subscribe to receive daily posts via your email. And while you are there, tune in to Universal Lighthouse Radio broadcasting 24-7 for your vibrational needs. Again, that's UniversalLighthouse.com.